Well, thanks again for joining me here in Naples, Florida. Adam Bazalgette, founder of ScratchGolfAcademy.com, longtime David Ledbetter associate. I want to talk to you today about how to stop topping your golf chips. A lot of people struggle with topping their shots around the green. Let's have a look at it. So there's a little mini pitch or short chip. What makes so many people top these shots? There's two real things that I think people mentally get wrong that lead to the problems. I'm going to show you that in just a moment here. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. would love to get you more free content as we go along. Feel free to leave a comment as well if maybe there's a topic you'd like me to address sometime. Okay, two real problems. Let's tackle them one at a time. Number one, trying to help the ball get up in the air or trying to use your hands too much to help it get up. What does that cause? Let me show you close up. Okay, so why do people scoop so much? I think it's just a subconscious attempt most times to help the ball get up in the air. And in theory, that has more loft than that does. But the job of the golfer, you've got to remember, is to make solid contact. That black spot highlights the sweet spot. Under this lie, not sitting up on a tuft of grass, you have to have some forward lean of the shaft to create that matchup between sweet spot and ball. And that's something, if you understand that, and you understand that your job is not to do anything other than create pressure between club and the ball, and the club designer's job is to get the ball in the air by building loft into it, it really helps stem this tendency to scoop. Believe me, on a lie like that, if you let the club head pass the handle, there's almost no way you're gonna make solid contact, and you will definitely get a lot of thin shots. Okay, now that you've got a little idea about the necessity of getting the club face against the ball, what's the other reason I think people top a lot of chips? What I believe it is, is people create too sharp a downswing, maybe it could be too much wrist cock or whatever going back, but their angle of attack is too severe. What will happen, of course, when you do that, is you'll dig the club in the ground, you'll stub shots. So the natural reaction to that is to try to bail out a little on the shot, and often you bail a little too much and thin it. So practice a little bit where your run up to the ball is directly to the back of the ball, but at an angle that's shallow enough, picture a wide bottom of a circle there, that you can commit to a good firm brush of the ground, and it's not so steep that you're digging into the ground every third try. Just got to work at that till you get the right angle of attack. Well, I appreciate your time again. I appreciate your interest in these videos. I hope they're helpful to you. Subscribe to the channel, please, if you'd like. Love to get you more free content. There's lots of content at scratchgolfacademy.com. Got a course here for you on adding distance. I uh, hope these things are helping you. And again, I appreciate your time.